hi in this session we will see how to do the body implementation for the transition called sk01 that is that will be a source code enhancement because we want to validate some data so what data we want to validate in the sk01 transition code there is one field as the bank card number okay this is the field bank card number press f1 to see the technical details this field is stored in the table j underscore one i m of in d and the program name is this okay so we want to validate this bank card number so what of, of validation you want to do first is bank card field should not be blank second the length should be of 10 character third the bank card is unique at vendor level means we cannot have two vendors with the same bank card number so this validation we have to do okay so what are the steps involved in this very first find out the package name of t code xk01 once we find out the package name then with the help of that through sc84 or sc18 find the body name check the body definition then do the implementation with sc18 or sc19 okay so we'll see all this in this session now as a very first point is to identify the body name okay for that go to sc93 enter the t code xk01 double click on program here go to object entry copy this package name w l i f now once you find out the package name go to s okay we'll go for sc84 expand enhancements business add-ins double click on definitions here enter the package name click on execute so we can see the list of bodies available inside that package okay so now we have checked the definition which body is suitable for us so we'll copy this z uh, vendor underscore add underscore data generally for the data validation there is a method check all data in most of the body now go to sc18 enter the body name as vendor underscore add data click on display <clears throat> so here in the properties we can see this is a multiple use body means we can have a multiple implementation for this body click on interface so here is a method check all data so we'll be implementing this method now if you observe here the importing table is lfa1 lfb1 lfm1 but there is no j underscore one i m o v d table in which we are getting our bank card number okay so we'll also see how to read the table name inside the code which is not there in the importing parameter that also we'll see in this session okay now on the sc18 enter body name go to enhance implementation click on create enter the enhance implementation name and giving as z vendor underscore add data 5 give the description save in a package body implementation name body class body definition expand this double click all implementing class here we have to re-implement this method okay we'll just go to class activate all go back so here we want to implement this method right double click on this method interface method was not implemented do you want to create implementation yes 
here inside this block we have to write our logic so how to check what are the importing parameters and changing parameters of this method click on signature you can see list of all the importing parameters okay now to have a bigger screen again click here now let me add my logic here first then i, I will explain you what i am doing see this logic i am written based on my my business requirement if you have any other requirement so accordingly you have to write your logic but the implementation method will be same okay now the very first point i have to check if the account group is OTHR then only go inside this is the very first checkpoint where is this OTHR if you see the xk01 initial screen there is the account group OTHR I want to do the validation only if the account group is this okay so this is my first validations second declare a field symbol because this is a table name which we want to read okay declare a field symbol of that table okay third okay which value we want to read the program name is this one from where we find out this program name enter enter the name click on additional component with holding text press f1 technical name so here you can find out the program name either you can find out in this way or you have to find out through debugging which table name we want to read from which include okay from here i have found out the program name and the table name right now <coughs> Declare a variable of type string and assign the program name inside the bracket followed by a structure name which we want to read. Now as we want to read the length of the PAN card number, therefore declare a variable of type n and we also want to check for duplicate number. We also want to check for duplicate PAN card number. That's why we have declared one more field as PAN card number okay now very first assign the value of this field means assign the value of program structure to the field symbol okay once we have value in this field symbol we have to check the length length is string length of pan card number okay now if the pan card number is not initial then go inside else give the error message as enter the pan number okay now if the pan card number is not initial check the length because the length should be 10 if it is not equal to 10 then give the error message as please enter the valid pan number okay now let's say the pan card is not initial also the length is equal to 10 then we have to do the duplicate check so we have to select the pan card number from j underscore one i mowind table by passing the current pan card number okay if you found any pan card uh, any vendor with the same number we have to give error message as duplicate pan number otherwise system will properly save the vendor okay so this logic i have written based on my business requirement okay so we have written everything in check all data 7 activate go back here can the implementation will not be called so i think we have to activate all the methods so click on class Here we can see if it is activated need to be adjusted okay 
so without wasting time we have to implement i think all the methods okay so we will not add any logic inside that but we have to implement that methods click on save data just activate go back we don't have to write any coding inside that but we have to implement that interface method check data read add on data check account number modify account number go back on tables now check it add on active this you have to do only if body is not activated by implementing the first method if it is activated by implementing only the first method don't do all this thing okay because when first i told implementation it was not required sometime based on the system <coughs> it gives it requires some additional method to be implemented okay now we're done implementation of all the methods now double click here check activate okay there is no error now okay i think it should work now go back it is active now okay now what we'll do go to again sk01 transition code first come out because we have just done the implementation sk01 enter the name enter the country reconciliation account now here initially i'm not entering the pancard number okay so without entering the pancard number click on save button you can see the debugger is triggered okay this is the, this is the method which we implemented so the account group is othr that's why it is coming inside the loop press f8 you can see the error message enter the pancard number oh i have came out of the screen now what we will do we will enter the pancard number but what we will do we will enter just five number okay now click on save button again it is inside a debugger now here we have this program name followed by the structure we are assigning to fill symbol press f5 double click on this fill symbol so we can see that value is here hmm? which i enter on the screen now if the length is not equal to 10 
this will give the error message enter the valid pan number again go to additional component i'm entering the pan card number with the existing one this is the existing pan card number in the system okay again click on save press f5 you can see the pan card number here now the length is 10 okay now system will change the duplicate pan card number it will select from the table it is if this is not initial we already have a vendor with the same pan card number system has given the error message duplicate pan card number now we'll enter the actual one okay let me change some value let me enter z okay now save the length is okay there is no vendor with the same pan number now you can see system has allowed us to create a pan card number create the vendor okay so in this way we have done the body implementation for the vendor master transition code that is xk01 for the pan card number validation so in this way we have finished this session thank you